Hello, family, friends, and colleagues. My name is Richard Solomon, and here's my life partner, Jackie Saunders. And this is uh, the ninth episode in our video series, Enhancing Human Relations Through the Fourth R, the Relationship Skills. And today, our ninth episode, we're going to talk about validating another human being. In the previous episodes, we talked about and demonstrated how to begin, maintain, invigorate, and uh, terminate or end a uh, conversation. But today we're going to be talking about validating. Very important skill. Now to validate another human being is to let that person know uh, through your verbal and nonverbal language that you support and you are trying to attempt to understand the feeling, the experience, or the thought that he or she is sharing. Now, I have a handout on this, which uh, you can find on my Facebook page if you wish to go there. So now, Jackie and I are going to demonstrate what it means to validate another person. And I'm about to ask Jackie a question I asked her just a couple days ago, and she'll answer it, and I will attempt to validate Jackie in her response. So Jackie, my question to you is, uh, we're finished with supper, and uh, you made a wonderful meal, thank you. And I'd like to know what you would prefer to do for this evening. What is that you'd like to do? Well, I really don't want to do too much. I would just like to relax and maybe read, have my feet up. I had such a busy day. I went to three stores to buy the ingredients for what I cooked today. And I had two different dishes that I was making. One was um, chicken soup from scratch. The other one was stuffed peppers. And it really took a long time from the time I came home with the groceries and washed and prepared everything and then put it all together. I cooked the dinner. We had dinner. I not only cleaned up from dinner, but I had to clean up from the soup and from the stuffed peppers because I made a, a large amount of it. I had to wait till it cooled off and then I had to put it in different containers to freeze. And by a little after eight o'clock in the evening, I was exhausted. So I really didn't want to do anything but put my feet up and relax. My energy was just zapped. So you're telling me, sweetheart, that uh, you had a really challenging day with cooking and uh, shopping, shopping and making a wonderful meal. And, and cleaning up. And also cleaning up. And, uh, and freezing everything. And I simply want you to know that I appreciate all the work that you did. And that's one of the reasons why I call you my life partner. Not that I don't have a role to play, but uh, I want to thank you for uh, all that you do for us. Thank you. And I'm sure that you know it's not that i don't want to do anything special i don't want to go out i don't want to ride the bike after supper i'm just so exhausted i'd be happy just to put my feet up and read tonight and i thank you for understanding what i'm saying sounds sounds terrific i do understand now how about if uh, you validate me about something Well, Richard, we went to Tucson, Arizona for your handball tournament. Yep. And I want to know how you felt about what happened there and how you feel now. Well, it's so interesting that you're saying this because I hate to admit this, but I think this may be the last year that I'm going to play in national handball tournaments. I just don't have the same skill, the same desire, the same power, 
the same uh, uh, quickness. I'm seeing in myself the things that I would see in others. When my competitors were in the 40s and 50s and 60s and 70s, um, the desire is not as strong and I, I find that I'm uh, declining in my ability and I don't have to prove anything at, at this stage of my life. So uh, it was, I'm glad we went and I made you one other national tournament. But uh, that may be the end of my uh, handball competitive career. I may still play local ball, but not on a national level. I see that you were really thinking deeply, and it did, seems like it does bother you, the difference in your skills from 20 or 10 years ago and the difference in your skills now. But I see that you still enjoy the sport a lot. And playing recreationally should make you very happy and continue your love of the sport, a uh, love of the sport, even though your actual ability may be declining a little bit. That's a wonderful example of validating. Jackie and I try to show that we want to appreciate. We, want, we are attempting to understand where the person is coming from. And that we never go through the exact same experience. And we don't tell someone that, oh, I know exactly what you're going through. That's invalidation. That's discounting. You never tell someone, I know what you're going through. I, I went exactly through the same thing. You went through similar things. And if you try to solve the problem and say, oh, Richard, you're going to play forever. Just accept where I'm coming from and appreciate that. And if you never went through what I've gone through, you just thank the person. I'm not responsible for doing the cooking in this uh, wonderful Solomon Sanders Saunders uh, household. We each have roles. We defined it for ourselves. We work it out. And we appreciate each other for what we do. So now that we demonstrated validating, and we also told you you can get the handout on it on my Facebook page. If you want to share comments or questions, just uh, send it to my email address, rdsolomonphd at gmail.com. And if you want the handout, you can get that handout on my uh, Facebook page. We invite all of you to practice validating. It's not an easy skill, very important skill. Practice it with your friends, your colleagues, members of your family, uh, workmates, teammates. You can even validate a stranger if the uh, situation arises. Now, in our next episode, we're going to begin a whole new topic. And that is dealing with people who act aggressively and selfishly toward you. And we have a, a number of relationship skills, forethought skills that we want to uh, share with you. These video, video episodes can be found on Facebook and Twitter. And we obviously thank you so very much for watching these videos and being a part of our program. Stay well. Bye. Bye.